The U.S. Secretary of uh, the Interior, Sally Jewell, is the co-chair of President Obama's task force to combat wildlife trafficking. She recently traveled to Africa to raise attention to the illegal activity. VOA's Caroline Turner has more. The mythology surrounding the black rhino horn is driving the species to extinction. Between 2011 and 2014, 100,000 elephants were killed, an average of 34,000 killed each year, or one elephant killed every 15 minutes, killed for their ivory. The U.S. Secretary of the Interior, Sally Jewell, says the U.S. wants to work with other countries to save the endangered species. We are part of the problem, and we want to be part of the solution, and we know the way to do that is to reach our hand across the world to work with uh, countries both on the demand side as we did in Asia but also on the source side. To bring visibility to the issue, last year the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service seized a ton of illegal ivory and staged an ivory crush in New York's Times Square. The U.S. is empowered to enforce the Lacey Act. If U.S. citizens or corporations import illegal wildlife products internationally, the U.S. is a signatory to CITES, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. It's a treaty that nations can sign on to in order to prevent wildlife trafficking. So, for example, if there was an illegal shipment of logs, or a shipment of wildlife products coming into the United States that violated the law of that country that was shipping them, we could seize that product and work with law enforcement in that local country uh, to bring those people to justice in that local country. So it's through international cooperation and treaties. Uh, it is through our own laws that we can help enforce. To prevent wildlife trafficking, President Barack Obama dispatched Secretary Jewell to Africa to explore how the U.S. can provide technical assistance. She visited Gabon, home to endangered elephants, Kenya, home to critical locations and transit ports, and South Africa, home to Kruger National Park. On the, the assistance side, I think we did about $18 million in Africa alone last year in the form of grants and assistance to African countries. It's everything from night vision goggles, which help uh, you know local law enforcement there see what's going on with poachers and address it. It is um, other forms of equipment. It's forensic laboratories so that they can do the analysis needed to bring people to justice. Secretary Jewell says that by working together internationally, the magnificent endangered animals will be preserved for future generations and will drive sustainable recurring tourist revenue into the future. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.